what woman wants to compete against a biological male? It's completely unfair. We are basically walking into a competition knowing that we're going to lose, and women deserve our own sports and our own spaces. So again, you're saying that this individual blew away the competition by far when it comes to competing, and it's what we saw just recently in, in the most uh, recent competitor, Vicky, right? Is this becoming more and more of a trend when it comes to biological men competing in these women's competitions? Yes, sadly, it is becoming a trend. I mean, just when we see that we're making some progress, it looks like we, you know, from seeing that video and that competition, it's almost like we're taking 10 steps backwards. And goes to show, like, this comp this Vicky Piper is 57 years old, I, I believe, and the Ann Andrus in my federation is in, I think, early 40s. So that just goes to show, too, that post-puberty advantages are there. And both of these male uh, competitors would be about... You know, I know Ann would be like 6,000 if he com competed with the men. Like, they're very mediocre, but then they go and they smash it in the women's category. Right. Uh, of course, there are just biological differences, obvious ones, when it comes to men and women. Last month, for Girls and Women's Sports Day, USA Weightlifting tweeted this message out, saying, Happy National Girls and Women in Sports Day. We're proud to celebrate all the women who make this sport great. Um, April, can you walk us through what would qualify a transgender athlete to compete in women's sports? Are there any sort of regulations that these people must face? Well, right now, so my federation basically had no policy in place. Any man, like my boyfriend can walk in tomorrow, identify just because he feels like a woman, compete and take all the records. But now certain federations, like because I spoke up, because I used my voice, the international governing body has now told my federation, the Canadian Powerlifting Union, that they have to do testosterone monitoring, and they also have to submit medical records and psychological records. So that male lifter in the Canadian Powerlifting Union cannot go further or cannot compete internationally because he did not submit the psychological and the medical records. So it does stop some. I'm sure some can still get through, but at the end of the day, XY should be competing with XY chromosomes, XX with XX. It's pretty simple. If we have to do cheek swabs at every competition, let's do that. But there's no, no reason why a man should be competing in women's sports. Right. I was just going to ask, the hormonal differences, do you think that that could sort of level the playing field at all if you're starting at a younger age? No. And you know what? Women are much more than just the hormone level. And um, the, the differences that men have, for example, like just a larger lung capacity, VO2 max, their, their hand and their grip strength is much more. Their pelvises, where a lot of your power comes from, especially in strength sports, is completely different with a man. So, no, there's, it, I mean, you take away the testosterone, you have way more uh, biological and advantages that a man will have over a woman. And as you can imagine, April, uh, you're not alone, although you might feel that way in your view of this, because people are weighing in online, that story of Vicki Piper, again, the biological man, uh, someone <clears throat> saying this, real women need to refuse to compete in these woke events that allow fake women to compete. Another user writing this, uh, you know what bothers me most about this man winning first in the women's weightlifting? These two women smiling about it with him. And, and April, I did want to ask you about that. The women who are going along with this competition, the league that's encouraging this approach, uh, what happens? Maybe, you know, does, does this trend only continue if, if women are standing there smiling next to this man? I actually posted about that yesterday. And the funny part is these women that are on the podium smiling now, take in mind, some of them might not know it's a man, but hello, we we know that was a man. Sorry. <laughs> and um, so, I mean, it was quite obvious. Um, women by nature are just more nurturing. We're tolerant creatures. So even in my federation, guess who's the ones that are, like, speaking up against me and allowing men to lift is women because they're actually catering to a man's, say, mental illness or uh, feelings above women. But at the end of the day, guess what? You're helping erase women's sports and it's completely wrong. These women need to step up, use their voices and say no, because there's also little girls going into change rooms and competitions as well. So it's a huge, huge safety factor.